This is an 18 volt XR battery. This is a 54 volt flex volt battery. Here's an 18 volt DeWalt SDS drill. And here's a 54 volt flex volt SDS drill. DeWalt flex volt is the way to go if you are looking to get the power of a corded machine, but with the flexibility of cordless. When tall manufacturers made the jump over to 18 volt cordless, there were a few heavier duty tools that many people felt never quite lived up to the corded models. But that is where FlexVolt comes in. You know, we're talking the likes of your miter saws, your table saws, and demolition hammers. With FlexVolt, you are truly seeing that maximum power. But DeWalt have thought about the end user with the FlexVolt batteries. If you're someone that needs some of those cordless tools, but also wants to operate, you know, your 18 volt standard tools as well, luckily for you, the XR FlexVolt batteries are compatible with 18 volt XR tools as well. So you have got that flexibility of being able to use the batteries in 18 volt and 54 volt tools. If you are interested in having a look at the XR FlexVolt range or have any questions, Fear not, because we have got everything to walk flex vault here, and we're gonna be looking at every single tool in the range. And let's start with some of your most typical XR flex vault machines, and we'll look at the miter saws. Now, DeWalt have three different miter saws for three different types of user. We'll start with the smallest. This is the DCS 777. Now, this has a 216 mil diameter blade on this, and it's actually quite nice and compact, weighing just 15 kilograms. So if you're working on a multi-story construction site and you don't have much power, slapping a flex vault battery into this is going to be great. This is a nice, efficient saw as well. Very, very accurate. And you can bevel cut with this up to 47 degrees. Cutting capacity on a saw this size is also quite impressive with a maximum cross cut of 270 mil and a maximum depth of cut of 80 mil. In the middle of the miter saw range, we have the DCS 727. Now this is a 250 mil diameter blade um, and it's, it's a bit heavier. So, you know, you get a little bit less portability with this, but you are getting increased power. This weighs 21.5 kilograms. Now with the increase in size, you are getting an increase in cutting power with a maximum depth of cut of 150 mil and a max cross cut of 305 mil. Alongside from that, what I love about this is the XPS shadow cut line. If you're looking to be as accurate with the miter saw as possible, rather than relying on a laser line or anything like that. If you are cutting down, you're, there'll be a light that projects onto the blade, which will project, project a shadow onto your material. So you'll be able to see exactly where you are cutting. You're also getting an increase in flexibility with this tool as well, being able to miter cut left 50 degrees and right 60 degrees. Then we have the big baddie of the FlexVolt miter saws. This is the DCS781, 305 mil diameter blade. This thing is a beast weighing 23.2 kilograms. But more importantly, this thing can go through wood like a hot knife through butter, giving you a maximum cross cut of 310 mil and a maximum depth of cut of 165 mil. We're seeing the same miter cuts as the previous model. You can miter left 50 degrees and right 60 degrees. And it also boasts the XPS shadow cut line as well. Another thing that is worth mentioning with the 781 and the 727 is these both have wireless tool control. So of course, dust extraction is going to be vital when working with a tool like this, which is why you can actually have the tool communicate directly with your compatible DeWalt dust extractor and it will automatically power up the dust extractor when you power up the tool. If you're gonna be cutting through longer planks of wood though, there are gonna be times where the miter saw just isn't going to cut it, but fear not because DeWalt also have a 54 volt flex volt table saw. This is the DCS 7485. Now, this thing is a beauty and a table saw is one of the products that when, you know, tool manufacturers made the jump over to battery platforms, the table saw in a way kind of got left behind, meaning that many of the models were cordless. However, the Walt have got an absolute beauty here, giving you that flexibility of the fact that it is battery power. So if you're going to a client's house and you need to, you know, you know, cut down those longer pieces of wood, then this is going to run like an absolute dream. With this, it has a 710 mil rip capacity and it has all the bells and whistles that you would expect from a table saw, a lot of micro adjustments on board with this. This is really, really impressive. Sticking with saws, but not as bulky as the miter saw and the table saws. Now, 
these are the Flex Volt circular saws. There are three models we're going to be looking at first. We are looking at the DCS 578 and the DCS 579. Both of these are very, very similar tools, boasting a 47% increase in power over the comparable 18 volt model circular saw. Now, both of these are very, very efficient. And of course, when cutting through wood, things like dust extraction can be important. So both of these have nice dust extraction ports on here and both have LED job lights as well because visibility is going to be very important. The difference between these tools is that the DeWalt DCS 579 is compatible with DeWalt's plunge saw track. So if you have the DeWalt plunge saw, which we'll, we'll get to in a little bit, if you have that, or even if you just have the guide rail, you'll be able to operate this on there. So if you're looking for those accurate straight cuts, you'll be able to glide this along the guide rail. As you heard though, when I was talking about the lights, of course, visibility is going to be very, very important. And that is where the DeWalt DCS 577 comes into play. Now, this is the worm drive style circular saw. As you notice with these, you've got the handles on top, you know? So when you're operating the tool, you're gonna have to hold it on top. With the worm drive circular saw, the motor and the handle is designed so that you're not obscuring the view of the blade, which some people prefer just because it increases that visibility when you are cutting. So if you're looking to be as accurate as possible, there are a lot of people that prefer the worm drive style of circular saw. Alongside from that, because you're not restricted with the size of having the motor where it is with the worm drive style saw, you will actually see an increase in power over the others because you have a bit more room for a bigger motor. I told you we'd get to it. This is the DeWalt DCS 520, the Flex Volt plunge saw. Now, if you've got the guide rails, perfect for the circular saw that we just mentioned. You can also use this impressive plunge saw with it as well, boasting a depth of cut of 55 mil. What's also to love about this with a plunge saw is safety is very, very important, which is why it has an integrated anti-kickback feature. So when you are driving into material too hard or too fast, the tool will shut itself off, which is gonna save your material and also probably save your limbs as well. This is a really, really impressive bit of kit. And also similar to the Mitre source, this also has the wireless tool control. So when you fire this up, it can be paired with one of the compatible DeWalt dust extractors as well, because you're gonna be making a lot of mess. So you are gonna need a dust extractor for something like this. Also the DCV586 cordless flex volt dust extractor. Now this is, gives you a really good indication on where the wet and dry vacuums and the dust extractors are heading because this is really, really impressive. 75 litre capacity on this, but where it really stands out is the fact that it is T-Stack compatible. So if you have other DeWalt T-Stack cases, you can store that on top or within your other cases. That's really, really handy. It has an eight foot long hose, and this is compatible with the wireless tool control. So like I said, with some of these tools, when you fire them up, the dust extractor will turn itself on as well. Looking at recip saws, we have three models. We have the DCS388 and the DCS389. Both of these are really impressive heavy duty recip saws. The 389 just being a slight increase in power than the 388. But there is a third recip saw, and this is possibly the most interesting tool in the DeWalt flex bolt range. This right here is the DeWalt DCS397. This is a 54 volt alligator saw. Now, I am not sure if there are many of these on the market. I don't think there are, but this is similar to a standard handheld saw. But with this, you have two blades running down here and each of them move forward and back. So if you were looking, you know, to shave some time off rather than using the hand tools, there is now a power tool model available. So, you know, it does count as a recip saw because you've got the blades moving forward and back. But uh, yeah, when you picture recip saw, this isn't exactly what you have in mind, but regardless, this is mightily impressive. I was putting the alligator saw back and I've knocked off almost all of the demolition hammers. Um, this is not ideal. <laughs> When cutting vertically and looking to create small grooves in walls, then you are going to want to be looking at the FlexVolt Wall Chaser. This is another bit more of a niche product, similar to the alligator saw. Um, but with this, you are going to be able to glide up and down the walls while making cuts of up to 32 mil. With something like this, safety is going to be key, which is why you have the electronic brake there. And also you've got the nice dust extraction port on the back and that wireless tool control yet again is going to come in handy. So you don't have to 
turn that dust extractor on. Now on to the big guns, the SDS Max slash demolition hammers. Now there are six tools here that kind of fit that category, but you can then divide them up into four smaller categories, which we are going to do. You've got your dedicated chipping hammers, your demolition hammers, your rotary hammers, and your SDS Max drills, which as you can see so far has been like herding sheep. So hopefully these are all gonna remain standing on the table by the time we are done talking about it. Look, guys, I'm not gonna pick this up, but this is a DCH 892. It's a dedicated chipping hammer. And as you may be able to get from the name of what the tool does, this is for chipping away at concrete. This is for your heavy duty demolition projects. And this thing is an absolute beast giving you up to 19.4 joules of impact energy which is insane for a tool in general that is a lot of impact energy but for a cordless tool that is madness so anti-vibration is going to be very very important on that which is why there are anti-vibration measures in place of course for your safety otherwise you're just going to be walking around shaking like the drill but really really impressive but there is another dedicated chipping hammer there's a slightly more lightweight model i mean lightweight in quotation marks when dealing with tools like this but this is the dch 832 which generates up to 10.5 joules of impact energy and whereas you know the big boy was weighing you know over 10 kilograms this thing weighs just six kilograms so it is a little bit more lightweight but boy this can still do a lot of damage and then we have the demolition hammer this is the dch481 now this is for both hammering and chiseling into concrete um this is really really impressive giving you 6.1 joules of impact energy and a drilling capacity of 40 mil into concrete and then we're looking at the SDS max drills. Imagine a standard SDS drill, but literally taking it to the max because these take the SDS max drill bits, which are your bigger, heavier duty drill bits, you know, more for your masonry work, more for those heavier duty, those rugged tasks. And we're going to start with the DCH 614. <laughs> now, this generates up to 10.5 joules of impact energy. This is particularly ideal for drilling in anchor fixings and also holds into concrete with a diameter of up to 45 mil this thing is a beast but we can go a step further with the dch 735 giving you an increase in impact energy of up to 13.3 joules this is capable of core drilling up to 125 mil and also these tools have the wireless dust control you know that wireless tool control like i said earlier uh, where you can connect these to the dust extractor because i mean boy you are going to be making a mess with a tool like this then we have the rotary hammer. This is the DCH775. Now, this works slightly different to the rest of the drills that we have covered so far and the other chipping devices and whatnot, because the way that this works is not only does it drill, it has a piston inside of it, which is pushing the drill bit into the material. So you are going to be able to drill bigger holes a lot more efficiently. This is the DCH775, 19.4 joules of impact energy with a drilling capacity of up to 52 mil in concrete. I mean, if I could pick this up without everything falling over, you would be able to see that this thing is an absolute behemoth of a drill. Um, and so it seems only appropriate to go completely to the other end of the spectrum with their standard SDS Plus drills. We have the DCH333 and the DCH334. Now, these are both impressive SDS Plus drills, very similar. There are some small changes here. For example, the 334 has a lockable chuck, but these are some of the most powerful and most efficient SDS Plus drills in cordless tools all together. Because of course, they're still, you know, similar to the other demolition hammers and whatnot. These are running off of 54 volts of power. These are really, really impressive, giving you 3.5 joules of impact energy so these are going to be efficient for drilling and also drilling into concrete which you know obviously if you're drilling bigger holes you're going to need something like an sds max but for those smaller efficient jobs the sds plus drills are going to be able to get the job done and then some we're not quite done with drills yet this is the dcd 470 angle drill now this thing the build quality on this and i think it goes you know I'll cradle this like a baby for a second. The build quality on the 54 volt flex volt tools 
are incredible so well produced everything feels like it is as heavy duty as the tools would suggest and this is no different as well perfect for drilling holes into concrete and things like that especially when installing piping and cabling you're getting a lot of flexibility with this tool as well with two speed options and of course it comes with a side handle but you've also got the handle on top for stable use do all have three 54 volt flex volt grinders they all have different sizes so they're going to be used for different jobs we are going to start here with this this is the Dalt DCG 418 this is a 125 mil grinder uh, this is you know a, a bit of an upgrade on the previous corded and 18 volt models you are seeing a 30 percent increase in power with the flex volt model and of course with something like a grinder safety is very very important which is why this has an e-clutch and e-brake installed on here so when you release the trigger the tool is going to come to a stop very very quickly moving on to the 180 mil model this is the dewalt dcg 440 like i said this is a 180 mil grinder so you're seeing an increase in grinding disc size um, but what you're also getting is a 30 percent increase in power from the 418 so you're seeing an increase in size and an increase in power but there is a third and that bigger model is this the dcg 460 this thing can take a 230 mil grinding disc. So this is for your heavier duty jobs. This is going to be able to clear out material as quickly as possible with a 69 mil cutting depth. What is also impressive about this is because of course, this is going to be a very heavy duty tool for completing those heavier duty tasks. You have the dust mesh cap as well. So that is essentially gonna stop any debris from the material you're clearing to you know get into the tool and cause any damage. You can find these on the sides as you can see here. Do also make a flex volt disc cutter. Now this is a very heavy duty tool for cutting into concrete and rebar with a massive 230 mil diameter blade on there. Where it really shines though is the fact that it can give you the power of a corded tool but with the flexibility of it being cordless. And so you've got a few portability options. There are three ways in which you can hold it depending on the angle that you are cutting at and this can cut up to three and a half inches into concrete with a powerful 6,600 RPM motor. You also have a flex volt paddle mixer, the DCD 240. If you're going to be mixing concrete, mortar, plaster, if you're going to be mixing those things often, uh, there are power tool versions. There are many corded versions available, but there's also now a flex volt version, and that is giving you maximum flexibility with five different speed options. It has soft start and soft braking technology as well, because you don't want to fire up the tool and create a mess with plaster going everywhere. It's just, yeah, to, to reduce that mess, that soft start and soft braking is going to come in handy of course with the power of flex volt it's a perfect option when looking to get your garden looking tip top or if you are a landscaper or anything along those lines then the walk flex volt is going to give you the power that you need to operate systems out in the garden you have three flex volt chainsaws uh, you have a 40 centimeter blade a 45 centimeter blade and a 50 centimeter blade here so these are all really efficient chainsaws when cutting through branches when cutting through wood these are going to be really really efficient and the main difference between these is the fact that they have different sized blades there's also a flex volt grass trimmer which is another tool that people you know have been sticking with petrol for a while but there's finally a battery powered model that can really live up to those more rigorous tasks uh, this thing as well you know being battery powered lifetime's going to be important using a three amp flex volt battery you are going to be seeing up to 45 minutes of runtime with this there's also adapters that you can get for this to make it a brush cutter as well really impressive will then have not one but two flex volt blowers this is the dcm ba 572 this is the lighter of the two blowers but this can deliver up to 200 kilometers an hour of airspeed this i mean you turn it on it sounds like a jet engine but this thing is really really efficient and so is the second model this is the standard dcm 572 model um you've just got a different build on this as well you know you could actually stand this up and then lock the trigger in place both of these tools do have variable speed triggers though so that is something to keep in mind this thing is also just slightly more powerful than the previous as well this can deliver up to 207 kilometers an hour of airspeed 
Last and definitely not least, we have the DeWalt Garden Split Shaft Tool. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos covering garden tools before, you know that I absolutely love these tools. And that is because if you aren't a landscaper, but you still wanna get the garden tidy, it can be you know, a bit of an investment to get all of the professional grade tools. So why not get a jack of all trades? And you can get a variety of accessories and attachments for this tool that can do a multitude of tasks around the garden. You have a few options. You have a brush cutter, a hedge trimmer. You also have a saw attachment and a string trimmer as well. So for getting all of the jobs done in one tool, the, the split shaft is definitely the way to go. So there we have it, that is everything. The Walt 54 volt flex vault. If you need the power of a corded machine with the flexibility of cordless, then flex vault is an incredible investment, especially with that backwards compatibility of the batteries as well. You can check everything, the Walt flex vault out over in the DeWalt Superstore at ITS.co.uk. That is your home of everything DeWalt.